Hey guys, so I went to my mom's house yesterday and got all my Halloween decorations and I got this poster at Five Below. Um, so yeah, I spent a lot of time decorating the house yesterday. I have like four, four big boxes of Halloween decorations and I tried to put as many of them as I could right behind me. That right there is actually a light that turns on. It's like a ceramic ghost. Anyway, um, so I finally got the Wet n Wild Nightmare Before Christmas collection. And what I've been doing with the last few things that have come out is just not going crazy like I used to where I would buy like the whole collection of something and then, cause you know, then the next week something else would come out. So it's better to just buy what you really think that, you know, might get the most use or the thing that you might enjoy the most. So I looked at the whole collection. I bought it at Ulta. Um, it's on those displays that they have right before you get to the registers, if that's what you're looking for. So I bought three things. And the first thing I got is a contour highlighter stick. It's a dual ended and there's Jack. <laughs> so the packaging is cute. So I'm going to use that with you today. That is the contour stick. So yeah, let's try this out. I usually use a powder because this is obviously a lot more work. Something like this takes a lot more blending. And there aren't, you know, different color options. There's only one, one color that this comes in. I got a um, Nightmare Before Christmas t-shirt at Five Below too. And I will be wearing that for sure in a future video. All right, so I like it, but boy, that's a lot of work compared to using a powder. And then Actually, the next product I'm going to show you and use is I bought a color changing lip repair oil and that's what it looks like. And this is in the shade Too Faced, but it's the number two, not T-O-O -O, like the company. And I have nothing on my lips right now, so this should be interesting. Oh, that smells really nice. Oh, what is that smell? I know that. I know that smell. Oh, I wonder what this is supposed to be. Wow, is that familiar? I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know.
I like buying lip, oil, lip repair oils because it's actually something that I know I can use up. Oh, that's pretty. So that's what it looks like in the package, but then when you put it on, it's probably one of those pH things. It doesn't say that, it just says color changing. So, yeah, I wish I knew what that smell was. That is so familiar. I can't place it though. All right, and the last uh, thing I'm gonna show you, and we are gonna go back and use that highlighter on the other end of this stick, but I have to put this on first. This is a lip and cheek, lip and cheek, let's get the name right. It says Barrel of Scares, and it doesn't say, it must have been on the packaging. I don't know if it's just a lip and cheek product or if it's a lip and cheek stain, I'm not sure. I threw the packaging away yesterday, so I don't have it anymore. This does not have a scent to it. It actually has a slight chemical scent. Okay, what I'm going to do is, it's a really, really deep purple. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a blush brush, and I'm going to buff it into my brush. And then apply it because otherwise I know it's going to be crazy. Okay, that application method worked good. Oh, that's and so it ends up being like a, a purpley berry shade. Yeah, I like it. Looks very natural, not freakish at all. And did I show you the packaging? That's what the packaging looks like. And um, so that's Barrel of Scares. And then let's use the highlighter. Now the highlighter is a straight up white. So I'm gonna go right across the top of my cheekbones and use my fingers to blend in. So those are the three products that I decided to get because it's actually like, like this is two products in one because, um, you know, you can use it on the lips too. And then this has two products in it. So it was almost like I bought five products, but I only bought three items. So I like things that can multitask like that. It, I feel like you get more for your money that way. I think the packaging is cute. I, I like the products um, so far. I will be curious to see how this is on the lips. Because whenever I buy these things that say lip and cheek, I usually end up using it more one way than the other for some reason. But, um, so that is that Ulta now. It's supposed to be at CVS too, but I couldn't find it. I went several days in a row to a whole bunch of different CVSs because I always have coupons. Um, and I couldn't couldn't find it at any of the CVSs that I went to and I just gave up and went to Ulta because Ulta sends out those flyers in the mail and they're pretty good about, you know, putting things out when they say they're going to because they're advertising it in the flyer. Whereas with CVS, it can just say in stock on the website, but then, you know, you may find it in the store, you might not. So I like these things and, um, yeah, if anybody knows what this scent is, let me know, because wow, is that familiar. I know that scent. I cannot place it, though. Don't you hate it when that happens? <laughs> so that is it, guys. You like my new background? Uh, 
I know today is August 31st, so I'm kind of jumping the gun, but I love Halloween. I would say it is my my favorite um, holiday. And I've got last year's So Frank and Cute Wet and Wild Polish on from the Scooby-Doo collection. And that is so frank and cute. Yeah, that was last year's Scooby-Doo collection. So that is it, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.